I decided to harvest my garlic when I had 3-4 dead leaves. The amount of leaves you have left should be the amount of wrappers you have intact around your garlic head. And the higher the number, the longer your garlic should store. I planted this garlic on October 11th and I harvested it at the beginning of July. There are six varieties in there. Three are soft necks and three are hard necks. The difference between hard neck and soft neck garlic is that soft neck garlic can form a lot more little garlic cloves in the head and does not produce a garlic scape or a flower. And hard necks usually have a flower uh, called a garlic scape and also usually have six to nine um, cloves in a head, but they're usually bigger. We ate a lot of the soft necks earlier in the spring as green garlic and then harvested the garlic scapes from the hard necks several weeks later. My method of harvesting is to move the wood chips aside, dig around the garlic head and either lift it with my hand from underneath or use a small shovel to cut the roots under the head and then lift it. If you have your garlic in a dedicated bed, you can use a big garden fork and just lift them in bunches and then pick them out of the dirt. But since these are planted close to my blueberries, I didn't want to disturb the roots of the bushes. Here I'm using this shovel to just cut as many roots as I can underneath the head and gently lift it up. When I was done with the section, I was careful to put back the wood chips without really mixing them much with the soil. Even though they do mix with the very top layer, as long as they don't really go down with all the soil, it's usually not a problem in terms of uh, eating up your nitrogen. After I picked everything, uh, I lined them up on the steps of my porch and using the mist setting on my hose head, I did one very gentle pass to just clean the big chunks. And then using scissors, I cleaned up the roots. Some people suggest leaving the roots uh, for during the drying process, but I prefer to remove them because it just makes it so much easier to clean that area where the roots come out of the head from leftover dirt. After the roots are gone, it makes cleaning the last bit of dirt that much easier. As you can see, I'm just spraying again with the mist setting and removing as much dirt as I can, but being careful not to damage the wrapper of the garlic head. After I was done, I just bundled them up in groups of five and six and made a very simple braid out of the soft neck garlics and put them up in a shady place to dry. I highly recommend growing garlic. Uh, I never really watered it, I never fertilized it, and even though it looked like it had died during the winter, it didn't affect the growth at all. It came back and it was just fine. So definitely try to grow some garlic. It's a great crop and it's obviously a great food. So highly recommend it.